Okay, so hi, happy holidays. Um, it's Lori. It is uh, Sunday, December 16th. I'm going to narrate this video for you about our new site at the 4 H Park. You might recognize this entrance here. This is on the same road that goes to Augusta Hills. Once you turn in, you can take a right up there ahead and go to the 4 H Pavilion or go straight, and that takes you back to this area where we have developed the Black Pine Animal Park. This was um, pictures taken at the beginning of the whole thing. Once we decided that's where we were going to move, we got plans together. This is Josh's original drawing, <coughs> which we had professionally drawn by MSKTD. They're friends of ours, architectural firm in Fort Wayne. The ditch that runs through there, um, you cross over and that's, that's past the 4-H pavilion. Excavation got underway last, let's see, May. Nope, July. It was July. This was the first road we put in. And this is just a shot of the central area of the park where we've done a whole bunch of development that you're going to see, starting with the commissary. That's where we do the food prep and storage. We have offices, bathrooms, all of that good stuff. This is the commissary under construction. Framing going up, and this is a view of the back side. This would be the service entrance to the park, and that white uh, people door there is the office door. and. This is the front side of the building that you see if you're a guest visiting the park. And in the end of the building there is where the, st the public bathrooms are going to be. This is Jess's office. And this is the kitchen area. This is where we do the dishes and also where we do all the food prep. Behind them you can see a sliding door on wheels there that goes into the butchering area where we butcher the deer to feed the big cats. We have a now a full staff bathroom with laundry and showers. Very exciting. <clears throat> the public bathrooms are going to be opening sometime in 2008. We took a while to get all the septic system approved. So in the meantime we had an artist from uh, Rome City came in and did all of this airbrush work. That's an airbrush image of Montrose, one of the tigers. Very talented guy. The maintenance building was the first building that was completed and that was done in I'm gonna say August September time frame in 2006 this is an inside shot of it where we keep all of our maintenance supplies and then we built the large animal holding barn which is about a 32 by 80 foot building long term it's gonna have a vet clinic and quarantine and things like that in it um, the main reason we had to build this big building is because we didn't have time to build all the individual habitats and move in 2006 so still have several large animals living inside of this building. This is just shots while it was under construction and that's pretty much what it looked like when the inside was done. Inside caging. Everybody's got ample space indoors. Concrete floors. We moved our first animals in to the big building in October of 2006. This is China, one of the leopards being moved. And then we actually had an open house once we got some animals to the new site back in December about a year ago and we had some Boy Scouts put up a sign for us. These are pictures taken inside the cat building. <clears throat> we had um, quite a bit of media coverage. Darley and Montrose inside the building. There's going to be a few shots here that you'll be able to see the animals. There's Nala and Shengi's nose. <laughs> Shengi actually passed away in May. Outdoors, we finally put some of the caging up so the animals could get outside of that building in January. This is the first day that the lions came outside. Chen Lake State Park um, Corrections Department sent inmates out to do a lot of this construction outdoors. That's Montrose. And there's Luna. And there's India. And that meowing you hear is Bonnie in the background. She's bugging me. Um, that's China and Chewy and China and Chewy. Um, moving on to the primate house, we s oh okay. So I have a glitch in the video. Sorry about that. This is still the big cat or the big animal holding barn. That's Bob Steele cleaning the bears. He's their former trainer picture of a little guy visiting. This kind of gives you a view of how the visitors see the animals um, while they're in this temporary area. They get pretty up close where they get a good view of everybody. Okay, now we're moving on to the primate building. This is the ground before it was um, excavated and the primate building has a 40 by 80 foot building. 
Long term it's only going to house primates, but right now it houses some birds and some reptiles and some other small mammals. The chimp habitat was the main part of the building. They have about half of the whole building and we put concrete in their end of the building. Which you'll see here is the concrete block wall. Um, Ken Gangwer was the mason that did all that concrete work for us. Long view shot of it. Eventually the, the boys, the chimpanzees, will be able to come out the front end of that building. The caging was pretty elaborate to house them. Josh um, laid out a design and then got a bunch of volunteers together to weld everything together and then the welded pieces were galvanized and then they were actually assembled. It's kind of like a big jigsaw puzzle that all got put together and then Jack Owen came out and helped us set it into the building. Um, once it was set in there they were able to finish the siding on the building and do the roof work and everything. The chimps windows so that the visitors can see them since they're only housed indoors right now are big four by six foot panes. They're an inch and a half thick, three panes of laminated glass. This shows some of the inside area for the chimps. That's Josh. Did an excellent job propping it. It's really fun for him. And this is the keeper hallway that separates the two big main areas that the chimpanzees have. And then that chute up there on the ceiling side, you can see the chimpanzee sitting there. They can run from side to side. On the other end of the building is where all the small mammals are, and those are the footers for the walls, and then that's a finished shot of all the caging in place. Some of the birds that are housed in the center of that area. I'm not sure which macaw that is looking down at us. This just shows that we have uh, some clear panels in the ceiling, so basically skylights. There's a company in Columbia City that actually makes these garden hose reel systems and they make industrial reels. They donated that for us. There's Yoda and Hannah indoors. Now we're looking outside that same building at what will be the permanent outdoor exhibits for those animals. So we won't have to transport them. They can actually run in and out of that building into their outdoor habitat. That's the rhesus macaque habitat. There you can see people looking in on Yoda. And this is a long view of another monkey habitat. This is a lion tail macaque. Her name is Lisa. And I think we have a picture of her. There she is. And this is a shot outdoors. People looking at a tortoise. And you can see how nicely landscaped it, it's, uh, it's getting there. We still have some landscaping to do. Now we're off into the woods. This is an area that we're developing for all of the bobcats and the big cats eventually will all be living out in this area as well. This is a photograph taken in October of this year. Those are the bobcat habitats. And there you can see the visitors pathway. Nice gravel path into the woods. There's Zimba the caracal in her new place. And there she is inside her den. That was really recently finished. And that's a Kawadi Mundi. It's going to flash by fast. He's up at the top there. And this just shows the eight foot perimeter fence. We had to have a company come and do that all the way around the property. This is an early shot of the pasture animals shelter area. A long view of the camel out there at the feeding area. And there's Jenna, one of our former interns. She's a college student. Um, this is a canopy that came off of Dexter Axel here in Albion and it was donated and then uh, Keith Leatherman came out and set it in place for us. Had a lot of really great support getting all this stuff done. Really a nice spot. And the little girl feeding the animals gives you an idea. That's one of the interactive areas of the park now. There's just a front view of the entrance. That'll all be redone and landscaped eventually. And this is one of the bird habitats. That's Peaches, our Moluccan cockatoo. She was the one that made news for swearing. I don't know if you guys heard about that down there. And then we erected a cedar wall around her for privacy and sound barrier. Now we're moving into construction of the picnic pavilion that happened this summer. The guys from Leatherman Construction donated their time and talents and concrete work for the pavilion. Very nice. Now we're coming up on a view of the entire park. This is a look out of the commissary building that you saw early on, looking out across the park. 
The cougar habitat was the first of the larger cat habitats to be done. This is Cody. Cody lived about eight years in a man's basement before we adopted him. He is a mountain lion. Checking things out. And what's going on now is construction of a reptile building. And that's happening right now. They were starting to work on the inside of it. These were shots taken over the last few weeks as it went up. It's a 40 by 40 foot building being donated by Corporate Construction, which is a contracting firm in Auburn. A bunch of Amish men out here working on it. Nala got to move into her new habitat recently. Kind of still juggling a lot of balls at once, trying to get everything done. This will be India, one of the Bengal tigers' new habitats. Kind of big, spacious areas that they're going to have. It's going to be really nice. And this is what her den footprint looks like here. She's getting ready. We had a lot of events this summer. This is an Elvis impersonator from Fort Wayne that did a benefit. And then Bo Smith's band from Auburn did another one for us. They did a beer tasting. These are photographs from the beer tasting we had in early October. That was a lot of fun. We had about five different beer distributors. Everything was donated 100%, so everything we made we got to put into the coffers to help build. Had a hog roast. Very yummy. And that took us um, in mid-October, and then of course we had Halloween. So this is a couple of photographs from Super Halloween. There's lots more stuff on our website, but this is just a taste of what's been going on at the park. And uh, there's a picture of some of our volunteers. We had 72 people volunteer this summer. Dr. Kumaran is our vet. He's a really interesting man. And in lieu of not having a gift shop, that was a shot of our canopy where we <laughs> had our outdoor gift shop. So, well, that's it. Bye. Read my letter. Love you guys. Merry Christmas.